What's up, Mercs? It's John here with some more Dark Souls 2. Last time we went through the gutter, and today we're going to Black Gulch. So, let's continue. Oh, that's a great way to start it out. Just get almost poisoned. Yep, perfect. So, I have to apologize again, uh, well, at least this time. If I'm a bit tired, I was pretty... well, I did a lot today. I hung out with my girlfriend, I, I my friends stopped over, and I uh, hung out with them. Right now I'm recording this at, you know, 11.54pm, however, I have a new sleep schedule. So right now, 11.54pm, it's right around when I actually go to sleep. Uh, I'll probably be going to sleep at 1am tonight, around. Uh, I don't... I don't, I don't think anyone cares about my sleep schedule, but hey, it's a good thing to have a good sleep schedule. I used to, you know, go to sleep at 4 in the morning, or, well, actually 7 in the morning after I streamed, but now I'm going to stream during the day, if anyone's curious, and completely changing my stream schedule to, uh, to Tuesday, no, Monday through, wait, no, Sunday through Thursday, uh, from 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if anyone's curious. I am switching to a daytime schedule, at least for my time zone, because waking up every day at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it just it makes you feel like shit. It really does. You just you feel worn out the rest of the day. So if I sound a little bit mm, kooky in this episode, I'm kooky. Oh, shit, it's kooky to say the word kooky. If I sound weird in this episode, it's because I'm tired. Uh, I'm pretty tired. I... I wasn't expecting to be this tired this early, but yeah, that's what happens when you act, when you wake up at 8.30 in the morning instead of, you know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon like you normally do. But hey, sleep schedules are a good thing. It makes you feel really refreshed when you wake up at a good time. So let's open up this. What do we got? A Great Club. Great Club is an amazing weapon. I have a strength build that uses the Great Club and oh my god is it so good does great damage, it's nice and fast. I just realized one hit from that bastard took out all my health. Holy fuck, if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. And I've never died to one of these little fuckers. If I die to a hollow, and I <laughs> almost did, because, fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. My coordination might be a little bit, um, what's the word? Not, I guess off, but... Off is such a bland word. Maybe, uh, off-put? That's kind of more creative. Creativity is everything, in my opinion. Not really, because I'm not creative at all, but hey. Sayings are cool. Damn it, hit it. There we go. Let's jump into the darkness. Try to branch of yore, because amazing. And here we go into Black Gulch. Let's go kill us some rotten. Um, you know what? Uh, while we're in here, I guess, yeah, I'll grab the forgotten key, why not? I don't normally do it the first time I come here, but this is New Game Plus. This is completely different, so why not? Might as well. It's probably a good thing if I do that now, rather than later. So let's rest up, heal up, repair, all that fun stuff, and let's keep on going. Hello. I don't really want to destroy all of these, because if I do... It'll be bad. So there is one thing I wanted to try. And that is this. Perseverance. This uh, completely negates all status effects. So I'm curious how it works with, well, poison. Okay, so it, it lowers it. So I can take two hits instead of one hit. That honestly isn't very good at all. Wow, that is just a waste of an attunement slot. Granted, I have plenty, so it doesn't matter. Fuck. I am in trouble. I am in deep shit right now. There we go. I am no longer in trouble. Let me drink up this tasty, delicious Estus. Grab a large Titanite shard, because Titanite is the bomb. Don't get killed by a worm. Come on. Eh, might as well kill him, fuck it. That guy is coming up on me, wow! This guy does so much damage. The worm does too, but the worm can hardly hit you, so... That guy is the bigger problem. Holy fucking shit! Everything is shooting me! 
And there is the poison. Good thing I have 99 poison loss, so poison doesn't matter. So let's just run. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Goodbye. Life gem. Why am I life gemming? I tried to roll out of it. What a waste. But whatever. Light the bonfire. And rest. Okay, so... I know we can get two uh, NPCs to back us up for this fight. However, uh, I don't know if one will show up. One's Lucatil. I don't know. Motherfuck you! Uh, I don't know if Lucatil will actually show up. The other is a hunter. And I'm not gonna lie, he is awful. He is just a bad NPC. He fucking has so little health for an NPC. And he dies almost instantly. It's not a good thing to have him. Uh, Lucatil, on the other hand, is very, very beefy. However, I always forget how to get her. I believe... I don't think it's this way. I want to say it's like a certain pathway. I know it's like a pathway that's off the beaten trail. I don't tend to explore this area. That's the only problem at all. I don't like this place. I'm pretty sure it's up there. I'm pretty sure that is it up there. Holy fuck. And I'm pretty sure the way to it is actually kind of like the Forgotten Key Path, except it's at a different drop. I'm pretty sure that's how you get to it. These fucking things are so frustrating right now. These stupid poison, and then these guys just running away. Mm, don't want to fight. Nope. No thanks. Fight me for me. Oh, and I got poisoned. I'm fucking frustrated. Welcome to Frustration Souls 2. Enjoy. You know what, you fuckface, you? You know what? I hope you fucking- Oh my god, he's actually catching up. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to fucking die. Fuck this fucking- Fuck this place. Fuck this place. I never get Lucatil, I always get a player to help me. But because of my unable to connectivity, whatever the fuck you want to say with that, I can't find players. I can never find players for PvE. And it's really annoying because this is an area I really want a player. Just like the Smelter Demon, but as I went down there to check, that's why I walked down there before coming up here. So I believe. I want to say you jump on this to get to Lugatil. I want to say this is it. This is not it, unfortunately. This is the forgotten way. Okay, I didn't think you would. I didn't think it was on both sides. So no, this isn't it. That's unfortunate. I don't. Where the fuck do you get Lugatil? I don't even know if she'll come for me. To be perfectly honest, I don't think I have her quest line done. So she probably won't even be here, but I'd like to try, you know? But, I don't know. These guys are nothing. That, honestly, was not supposed to be Lightning Spear. That was supposed to be a get the fuck out of there. And for some reason, Lightning Spear is like... Cast? What? what? Did, you, did you say cast? I believe you said cast. So I'll cast right now. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Thanks for, for the effort, Lightning Spear, but, you know, no. It was a little bit too close for comfort. As was that. Okay, yeah, you better walk away. You better walk. Nope! Yeah, there you go. Take that last one, and good night. Yeah, that's right. I'm too badass for you. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It, it's completely understandable. I understand. Alright, let's go get our chest. I can't remember what's in this chest. Nothing too... I think it's the Ring of Giants plus two, isn't it? Yeah. I was gonna say, nothing too special. Plus one. Petrified Dragon Bone actually is pretty special. Actually, that allows me to upgrade the Defender Sword to plus five. So, it's actually something very special. In fact, I should go do that right now. I should really get it upgraded and get all that sorted. Let's go up. So, where the fuck do you get Lugatil? Damn it. I don't know. Is it like a secret? Because there it is. Right there, right? It's it's 
It's up above somewhere. It's raised. It's that. That's it right there. Ow. It's right up there. But how the fuck do you get up there? The world will never know. Because I never know. I know someone's probably going to tell me in the comments. It'll be a little bit too late for that. But do I have to jump down here maybe? Uh, does look like there's something there. Yep, this is it. I thought I had to jump down somewhere else. Okay, hopefully Lugatil will be here. And she is! Yes! Lugatil is the tank I need. Sir, I found my my... Now, of course, we've heard this, this dialogue before. Um, this is the dialogue she says in a, in a different place. It's always the same, so we don't need to listen to it. So I believe now she'll be an NPC we can summon. And this is the hunter. I might as well get him. Might as well grab the hunter. Although, I think it makes the fight harder. You know what else makes the fight harder? Dying. That that would make the fight a little bit harder. So something with the, uh, the hunter is he is stupid. Okay, he doesn't know how to roll, obviously. I wouldn't expect him to know how to roll. I wouldn't expect any NPC to know how to roll properly. Uh, but he will just get poisoned and die. He has very low health, in fact. And because of this, he can easily die. So what I need to do is neuter all these statues. At least over here. Now, obviously, I can't grab that one. But shit, which really sucks. I just need to take out most of the statues. So he doesn't get poisoned instantaneously. Because he is not the brightest of brights. Obviously. Can't get that one, but it doesn't look like he can really hit anything. So Lone Hunter Schmidt, and we have Lucatiel down here, I believe? I don't know. No, Lucatiel is at the bond. Fuck, he's gonna fall and die. I wish that I could tell my NPCs to wait, but he's gonna fall and die. Here's Lucatil. Bye bye, Lone Hunter. I already know it. You're either gonna fall. Oh. Well, good job, Lone Hunter. Your pathfinding is exceptionally not terrible. So, I guess I could actually cosplay him one day. It's not too hard. Leather armor. Or no, wanderer armor. And the bow. I think that's the hunter bow? I don't know. And the small leather shield. Not that hard. Lucatil, obviously, I already have cosplayed. Not hard to cosplay. Lucatil, she has armor named after herself. So, you know, it tends to be easy to find the armor that is named after themselves. So let's eat two of these. We're going to need everything we can get for this fight. So the rotten... Not hard. However, uh... I always underestimate him. He's, I, I'm like, I just, what I just said, he's not, he's hard, okay? I'm not gonna lie, he is a toughie. He is definitely a toughie. Okay? Ex at, at least solo, he is a toughie. Now, Lucatil is a tank. Lucatil is a tank, Schmidt's a ranger, so he can just pelt him with arrows. Not doing much damage, of course, but just nice pelting with some arrows. I don't know if this will even hit him. Just curious how much damage it'll do if it does hit him. If it's even worth hitting him with it. Eh. Not really. But, so this is an easy fight. Now the only thing is right here, Lone Hunter is a fucking idiot. And he's gonna get himself killed if he keeps going that close. He's gonna fall right into that lava and die. So Lone Hunter's being an idiot. Luca Teal is just taking hits because she's a tank. She doesn't even do anything. She just sits there and hits, gets hit. That's just her thing. She just gets hit, but it's okay. That probably would have killed me. I'm so glad I actually won the fight before he did his AOE. I don't. Well, maybe it wouldn't. Have. So we got a new, uh, new game plus. So we have the old dead one. Now, obviously, same uh, description as the other new game plus souls. But hey, new stuff. So, the old dead one, I believe it can give you corrosive something, acid surge, the pyromancy that corrodes armor? I don't know. 
I honestly don't remember. Uh, we'll have to find out. Maybe. Well, obviously, eventually we will find out, but... I don't know. So, Sublime Bone Dust, useless to us. We don't need that anymore. But, whatever. So, let's light the primal. Let's get out of here. So, this is the third boss beaten. Um... This might actually enable Lucatino to be in the Smelter Demon fight. I'm not 100% sure, but I just thought about that. Lucatino might actually be at that fight now, because I went through her dialogue. This means I'll be able to do a fight and not die to that stupid bastard Smelter Dick. Um, I'm trying to think of where else I can go uh, before that. Just, you know... Because he's still scary as hell. I do know of one place I can go. Off the top of my head, at least. So let's upgrade this. This is upgrading to 574 damage. That's almost 600, obviously. You know, you know guys know numbers. That's almost 600 with a dexterity greatsword, a.k.a. a fast greatsword. That is outstanding, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if, out if it's outstanding by most people's standards, but to me... That's outstanding, and it's a good weapon. Now, we're going to go fight the Royal Rat of Fordy? Vanguard? I think it's the Vanguard. I don't know. I have a really good feeling that we're going to get summoned and die. Now, the one bad thing about the Doors of Pharaohs is it's another rat area, but unlike... Oh my god. I don't even have to get summoned to die here. Unlike the other rat area, the rat bros here... I wouldn't say they're good, okay? Granted, every every Covenant has a good player. I'm sure there are great rat bros. Um, I wouldn't say they're good here. Though. I'm sure there are some good players here. But what I would say... <laughs> is they're a bit... Douchey. Uh, to say the least. So there are traps you can activate all around, which is the same as the other area. The only thing is, you're slowed by water, and if they're on the second floor, they can shoot you with ranged attacks. And you can't do anything about it unless you're a ranger, uh, but you also do with AI on the bottom floor. So... you are fucked, basically. What they love to do is sit at the door with magic and instantly kill you. Or they love to just stun lock you from afar while you get killed by the AI. It's stupid. I I mean, if you gr I personally think it's a it's boring. That's a shitty way to PvP. That's not fun. I PvP because it's fun as hell, not because I want to win. Granted, I do like winning. Winning is fun, but the fight's also fun. Uh, granted, you know. Some people might just be grinding all the covenants up, which they don't care about the experience of PvP. But personally, if you say, oh, I'm a PvPer, and you just sit here at the Rat Covenant and do what I just said, you're not a PvPer unless you actually get in there and fight. There's nothing wrong with using ranged attacks, but use it in active combat. Use it smart. That's what I do when I'm a mage. I use it smart. I use ranged attacks in active combat smartly and he just activated something i can't remember what he activates though now, i'm not saying anyone's bad or anything i'm just saying don't expect to get a lot of you know love if you're someone who just sits here and stun locks with magic because that's fucking annoying and stupid and cheap and really not hard to do so you know it's not really pvp I mean, it is, but... Fuck. By definition, it's PvP, obviously. Player versus player, by definition. By... I don't know. Reality standards? It's not... I don't fucking know. I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. You know I like to ramble. Rambling's my thing. Rambling is fun. But, also, you know, I like to ramble when I fall and have to fucking read, like, backtrack. Because I'm an idiot. God, don't fall again. I'm falling asleep. Don't fall. <laughs> I should be fine. Alright. 
Hello, mister. Oh, I see you with those Gurmaxes. I know you're gonna do with them. Actually, you're not gonna do it, I think you are. Yeah, you're actually gonna fight with them. You're not gonna throw them at me. So you're doing something that is more dangerous to your own health, to be perfectly honest. If you would have thrown them at me while I was fighting this guy, probably would have worked slightly better. Granted, I doubt it would have worked, but you wouldn't be dead right now, now would ya? Ooh, fucking A, I almost fell again. Son of a bitch. Now, I do remember the item in here. However, eh. I don't recall it being amazing. There's like Titanite, like large Titanite behind a, a Mastodon. Like, meh, whatever, you know. That's just a bunch of meh, to be perfectly honest. Take him down with a nice dagger backstab. And let's move on to the boss fight. <clears throat> so, last time I believe I beat this boss in one try. Uh, which is really odd for me. I think I've explained this the first time I fought him. This... At least on my first PlayStation 3 playthrough, this boss was by far the hardest boss. I've always had the most trouble with this boss in particular. Uh, however, not recently though. You know, once you get used to him. Um... Out of stamina! Oh god, I'm out of stamina. Okay, that's the only part I get fucked up on right there. Fuck. I'm gonna die already. There we go. Now I'm back in this. Fuck. I think the reason I had the most trouble with this fight is because it's like one of the only fights in the game that you're forced into, into a non-co-op. Which, obviously for my first playthrough, I was a big old pussy, and, you know, co-op was my thing, because I was a pussy, you know, but, uh, this was one of the, this is like the first boss, this is like one of the only bosses, or at least one of the only hard bosses, where you couldn't summon a friend and, like, kick ass, which sucks, and or at least if you can summon a friend, I didn't know, it wouldn't let me use my summon sign, so I don't believe you can, however, as you can see, not nearly as hard as I remember. Of course, once he's down most of the way, which he almost is, he'll start acting all hurt, and there he goes. Now you feel bad for him. Ow. His moveset changes. He's like Sif. Not as cute as Sif, though. Good night, sir. Don't you dare puke on me. And we were rewarded 28,000 souls, the Royal Rat Authority soul, and the Rat Tail. So not the Vanguard, the Authority. And thank you for pointing out, commenter, that he is a mohawk. Yes, I know. Someone commented before and said, oh, he is a mohawk. Yes, I know. I didn't point it out because, well, I didn't see it as a defining feature. I just saw red. But I guess, yes, his mohawk is red and all that. So here's the royal rat king, whatever. I, don't, I guess he's not really royal rat. He's rat king. But bye. Uh, maybe we'll join the rat covenant in the future. Maybe not. Um, so what next? I guess we can go to the Iron Keep again. Ugh. Don't necessarily want to. I don't want to at all, actually. <laughs> um, however, there's nothing really I can do from here. The Iron Keep is to is the way to open the next paths. Um, uh, there's some more in the Bastille I haven't done quite. Actually, there's a lot in the Bastille I haven't done. Wait a minute. No, because I'm at Sinner's... What the fuck? I'm missing two... Oh, yeah! Stray, that guy. I guess I should really, you know, rescue his bony ass from, you know, being petrified. I don't know why I said bony. Well, I know exactly why I said bony. Because I was thinking petrified. And the only thing that... The only petrified thing that came to my mind was the petrified dragon bones. So bony, yeah, yeah, that's how, that's how it came to be. So let's open this guy's um, body cage, if you want to call it that. I, I don't. Why the fuck would you call petrification a body cage? I don't know. This is what happens when you don't have a lot of sleep. 
Actually, I've had a lot of sleep. I had 10 hours of sleep. This is what happens when you're up for too long. Even though I'm not. Well, I don't know. I'm just tired. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now this is a terrible place to use this. Now this, on the other hand... Oh my god. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucking hate these things so much. There we go. God, I hate those things. Hello, strayed. Awaken. Ugh. You've awakened me. <laughs> Blah 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 blah. You're straight. Blah 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 blah. Souls. Blah 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 blah. Blah. Okay. So I can use the bend blade. I can use the ultra great sword. I can use the arc sword. Uh, I can use the barbed club. The dragoner's halberd. The bone scythe. The chariot lance. The dragon rider bow. Shield crossbow. And that's it. Wait. And some of these. I'm not gonna go through them. So. Um, I was wrong. No, the old dead one is not used for royal or for the acid search. I was wrong. Old dead one can be used for numbness, which is a very uh, it's like a 30 second spell. Basically, it makes your it like really it, it puts like black spots on the screen. I don't know, it makes you look like you're squinting in game. Uh, and it, it greatly reduces your, I think, physical defense. I'm not sure if it's just physical, I don't know. But it's it's a really high, like, rating, like, more than GMB. However, it only lasts for 30 seconds. So, it's, eh. On, you know, that's that's how, what I have to say about it. Eh. Eh. Okay. Whatever. So that's the only thing I can buy with the old dead ones. So here, let's see. Anything I really want? I guess I'll buy his Pyromancy. I'll buy his Miracles. Why not? Alright. Are you serious? There we go. The glory of your what? Sorry, I interrupted you. Not that I give a shit, but... Whatever. Okay, so now, um, I guess the iron key is really all I can go to. Um, well, I'm trying to push the iron key off until next time because you know it's not gonna last that long. Or well, this this time is almost over basically, and I'm going to run in there and fight the smelter. So. That will go longer than how long this is going to last, basically. So let's talk to to Ornifex. So with the old dead one, we can get the Crypt Black Sword, which is a fucking gigantic sword that is really good. Uh, very slow, though. Also, we can get... Is that everything? It looks to be everything. Do I need anything reinforced? Yes. Indeed, I do. My armor. Um, yeah, might as well make it plus ten. I believe I'll just. I don't want to waste Swiggling Titanite on armor. Armor. Uh, I want to use it on weapons more than anything else because, in my opinion, upgrading armor of Twinkling Titanite. I mean, I don't know. It's not worth it. The reason I think this is because. Armor rating doesn't really matter as much in PvP because you're trying to not get hit. You're not tanking hits, you're dodging them. However, armor rating is amazing in PvP if you have high armor rating. If you have low armor rating, you can still fight perfectly fine, you just gotta be a little bit more evasive. If you have low armor rating, or I mean, if you have... Wait, did I say it right? Okay, I meant low armor rating then if I said it wrong, but if you have high armor rating... You can be evasive, and then when the, you do get hit, it'll be like for hardly anything. So 
they'll even be like doubly fucked. Doubly fucked. Doubly fucked. John Okrukov, 2014. That's a quote for the books. Doubly fucked. I think I like that one. But anyway, guys. Let's go to the Iron Keep. Let's go to the Iron Keep. And I think I'm going to end today's frustration here. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye.